Hey there, quirky folks! I am your host, Anna, and today we're going to look at the amazing movies and series that are going to release in October 2022. September has been quite amazing so far, with House of the Dragon and the Rings of Power battling it out for viewership. Meanwhile, Cobra Kai and Andor have also been doing remarkably well. Brahmastra has been making swings worldwide. Pinocchio proved to be a remarkable launch, and everyone's loving The Woman King. But will October have as much content for us? Well, be assured, my fellow binge watchers, because you are covered through and through. There is plenty to look forward to. But before I get to those, it would be amazing if you guys would hit those like and subscribe buttons and show your support. Okay now, the first and the most exciting project is Werewolf by Night. One of you is a monster masquerading as one of our own. This is the first MCU holiday special and it will launch during the Halloween period on October 7th. Directed by Michael Giancino, it will feature Gael Garcia Barnell as Jack Russell, who goes on to become the werewolf. Laura Donnelly is playing Elsa Bloodstone. And we're also going to see the Man-Thing in this series. But it will be interesting to see whether these mythical creatures will become MCU regulars after this black and white special. I'd love it if Werewolf by Night teams up with Moon Knight, Blade, and Black Knight to form the Midnight Suns. On the same day, we're also getting the star-packed movie, Amsterdam. So, two soldiers and a nurse found ourselves in... Amsterdam. This theatrical event has so many big names involved that you'd lose count. There's Christian Bale playing Bert, Margot Robbie as Valerie, John David Washington from Tenet as Harold, Robert De Niro as Gil, Zoe Saldana as Irma, and Rami Mullick as Tom. Besides them, we've also got Anya Taylor-Joy, Michael Shannon, Taylor Swift, and Chris Rock. <laughs> Directed by David O. Russell, this film is a period-based comedy and murder mystery set in the 30s. It follows three friends, Bert, Valerie, and Harold, who witness a murder and become suspects themselves. They uncover one of the most outrageous plots in American history. And I believe you just have to watch this one, as it also comes out on October 7th. On the same date, Netflix launches Luckiest Girl Alive. This is Ani. Nice to meet you. Mr. Larson, it's me. Tiffany. Tiffany? This is another high-profile thriller that features Mila Kunis. Apparently, she has also produced this movie, which is based on the best-selling novel of the same name written by author Jessica Knoll. Kunis plays a writer named Annie Finelli, whose dream life in New York City finally starts to unravel. But her success story almost hits a snag right in the beginning as the truth about her disturbing high school history comes to life. Now, it'll be interesting to see if she is able to confront that horrid truth and still lead that dream life of hers. Next up, horror fans are going to be thrilled because we're getting Hellraiser. This franchise is finally returning to its glory after scarring us throughout the 90s and the early 2000s. Director David Bruckner gave us a spine-chilling horror thriller called The Night House back in 2020. Now he is reviving Hellraiser with a totally reimagined story. It involves a young woman who must confront the sadistic, supernatural forces behind an enigmatic puzzle box. The Hellraiser is also coming out on October 7th, and it will be followed by Halloween Ends. Come on, let's go. Finally, the beef between Michael Myers and Laurie Strode would come to an end. 2018's Halloween turned out to be a direct sequel to the original film that came out in 1978. Then, as we thought Michael Myers was burnt alive, he returned in 2021's sequel, Halloween Kills. Now, the saga of Strode and Myers will be ending on October 14th. Hopefully, this 13th film will mark the end of this slasher thriller franchise, at least for a decade. Next up, we're getting... The Curse of Bridge Hollow. Yes, Power Rangers. Madonna. Puerto Rican Prince. You are so old. Marlon Wayans stars in this self-produced Netflix movie. It is another spooky film that keeps up the Halloween vibe. Wayans plays a father who teams up with his teenage daughter played by Priya Ferguson. And now you're gonna enjoy her performance in The Curse of Bridge Hollow. In this horror comedy, she and her father have to save their town from a spirit that causes Halloween decorations to come to life. It also hits Netflix on October 14th. Then, Apple TV Plus launches a thriller series called Chanterum. I'm number one guide in Bombay. Thank you, but no. Yes, sir. But only after three no's, it is a two no. This is an upcoming drama based on the internationally best-selling novel by Gregory David Roberts. Set in the 1980s, it follows a fugitive named Lynn Ford played by Charlie Hunnam. He looks to get lost in a vibrant and chaotic Bombay. While running from his old troubles, he begins to fall for an enigmatic and intriguing woman named Carla. 
Now it'd be upon him to choose between freedom or love and the complications that come with it. Shantaram also stars Radhika Apte, and it also begins streaming on October 14. And following it will arguably be the movie of the month, that is, Black Adam. The hierarchy of the DC Universe is about to change as Dwayne Johnson finally arrives as Black Adam. This is a character who can even beat Superman with his magic, and we're gonna see him take on the Justice Society of America that includes heroes like Hawkman, Adam Smasher, Doctor Fate, and Cyclone. Apparently, the JSA will be called in by Amanda Waller. But in a crazy turn of events, Black Adam and the JSA will have to toss their beef aside as a new threat emerges. A military leader played by Marwan Kanzari will be possessed by a demon and turn into the villainous Sabak. And he is said to be even more powerful, so the JSA and Black Adam will have to work together if they hope to stop him. The movie arrives on October 21st, and on the same day, Apple TV releases a movie called Raymond and Ray. I love the way you've, you've set it up. It's very free-spirited and, and, and yet still sensible. <laughs> You've got to be excited because these brothers are played by Ethan Hawke from Moon Knight and Yuan McGregor, aka Obi-Wan Kenobi. They play half-brothers Raymond and Ray, who have lived in the shadow of a terrible father. But their father's funeral gives them a chance to reinvent themselves. There's anger, there's pain, there's folly, there might be love, and there is definitely a bit of grave digging. And we're gonna see them let it all out in this comedy. Following this one would be another comedy that is Ticket to Paradise. Excuse me, ma'am, I need to sit somewhere else. We used to be married. Worst 19 years of my life. We were only married for five. I'm counting the recovery. George Clooney and Julia Roberts reunite on the big screen. They play exes who share a mission to stop their love-struck daughter from making the same mistake they once made. But instead of stopping their daughter, will this mission rekindle their own romance? Only time will tell. Universal's Ticket to Paradise releases theatrically on October 21st. And on the same day, Netflix releases their biggest movie of the month, The School for Good and Evil. Future heroes and villains. The time has come for you to admit which side you're on. Netflix plans to introduce us to their own Harry Potter-esque wizarding world with their new family movie. They hope to make it a big fantasy franchise based on the novel series by Soman Chainani. Directed by Paul Feig, this movie is about two misfits who are also best friends and get transported off to a magical school together. But they'll be divided into different groups of good and evil, which are not Gryffindor or Slytherin. In these groups, the kids learn to be fairy tale heroes, and the bad kids learn to be villains and murderers and monsters. And you're gonna love the massive cast of this film, as it stars Charlize Theron, Lawrence Fishburne, and Michelle Yeoh, amongst others. Then Netflix brings us Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities. This new anthology series from the maestro of horror is going to bring several spine-chilling stories. So, horror fans are totally getting a treat throughout October. And the month will end with a bang, as starting from October 25th, the series will drop two episodes every day throughout the week. Okay, that's all from the list of the most exciting movies and TV shows coming out in October. Which ones are you guys looking forward to? Let us know in the comments. Once again, I'm leaving you with a reminder to click those like and subscribe buttons. Goodbye and stay...